when you're talking about encrypting an entire drive, you would definitely want a robust set of tools at the command line and in PowerShell so that you could manage such a thing. Think about it. You might be in a situation where you have to perform recovery of an encrypted device and you can only get to it from the command line. In this nugget, we'll show you the command line tool that is the rage when it comes to managing BitLocker. Here we are logged into the client one nug system and just kind of a little review here. If we go into the control panel, there is under the large icon view, for example, we'll see the BitLocker drive encryption option. So here's a graphical user interface for doing BitLocker. Notice that in a previous nugget on this, we went in and changed group policy so that we could do BitLocker on the C drive, on the system drive. But notice with a fixed data drive, we could do BitLocker without a TPM chip, no problem. So if I wanted to just, you know, expand this and turn on BitLocker for this drive, I could do that. We don't have a TPM chip so we can password protect it. Let me grab the password from the clipboard tool and choose next. And that's it. We can save to a file the recovery key information. So let's do that. We'll pretend that this is some super secure area on the disk that we're saving it to. Actually, we would want to save it off of the disk, wouldn't we? I'll just create a new folder here. We'll call it temp and we'll stick this text file that has the recovery key information in there. We say next, and we want to encrypt, use disk space only, that'll be faster, that's fine. We'll use the new encryption mode, and we'll say start encrypting, and this encryption process is in progress. So let's wait a moment here for that to finish, and then what we'll do is we'll reboot this VM. The reason we want to reboot the VM is because we want to unlock the drive, but unlock the drive using a command line tool, which is the whole point of this exercise. So I've waited a couple of seconds there, and now I've done a restart of the system, and I would assume that we're going to see a locked U drive when this machine fully boots again. So there we go. We are inside that machine. And if we open up our file explorer, the first thing that I wanna check for is do we have recovery information in that temp folder? So if we go into temp, ooh, great, there is the recovery information. And then if we go back and look at this PC, there is our lock symbol on the local disk on the U drive, that drive is encrypted. We could provide the password if we double click that and notice we have this GUI to provide the password. If you go to more options, you would get a graphical user interface to provide the 48 digit recovery key. But what we want to try is, as I stated, the command line approach to unlocking this as an example. You can use this manage BDE command line utility that we're gonna look at to do just about everything you can imagine with a BitLocker encrypted drive. In fact, why don't we do something super realistic? Why don't we pretend we have to do recovery in order to unlock that drive? So let's do this. Let's go into the root of C. Let's go to that temp folder. Let's go into this, this uh, text file they created for us. And we're gonna highlight and copy the recovery key to the clipboard. So I'll do edit, copy on that. And now we're going to launch an, a command prompt as an administrator. So let's go run as administrator on our command prompt. And now let's try and do our unlock. So we're going to do a manage BDE command. And we're going to say that we want to unlock the U drive. And we're going to say there is a recovery password that we are going to use and we can right click the mouse in order to paste it in. So we hit enter and the BitLocker drive encryption configuration tool starts to do its magic and we have successfully unlocked the U drive. I'll close this up. We'll go back over to this PC. We'll go right into our U drive 
and we'll look at the contents of that drive now that it has been unencrypted thanks to the Manage BDE command line utility. Again, there is just, the sky's the limit with that utility, and it's a great, powerful alternative to the graphical user interface. I hope this nugget was informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.